I moved to Nashville in September 2012 from Wisconsin. I didn't really know anybody at all. It took a whole lot of going out by myself to writer's nights to Nashville Songwriter Association pitch to publishers. They can be really scary when you first get to town. You're in this line of people and you go in and you're holding your CD and you're just thinking, I hope that this is the day that I meet the industry person who connects to me, the one who gets me. My parents are hands down the two most amazing people on the planet. I never really had that awkward stage where I was like, no, I don't want to be by you. Actually, I was kind of the weird girl who always wanted her mom on every field trip just so I could hang out with her and, and, and fall asleep on her shoulder on the bus ride home. I play on these Nashville stages every single week. Every time I perform, there's at least one person who comes up and will recite some of my song lyrics to me, telling me that how it connected to their life, and that is by far the biggest compliment for an artist. I have developed way thicker skin than before I moved here. It's really taught me to not take so many things so seriously. <laughs> I have a lot of really feel-good songs. factory in Green Hills. I have the best co-workers. And sometimes there's like 15 to 20 of them who come to watch me at a, at a performance and they are part of my big Nashville family along with my co-writers and everybody else I've had the opportunity of connecting with out here. My biggest dream is to have people I might never meet connect to me simply through my songs. Was important